good morning everyone this is Anne from the sheepdog and the medium and today we're going to be using the doo -doo -doo, the oceanic tarot I know it's way out there okay we're bringing it back we're showing the top of it because my camera angle is a little off but oceanic tarot so here we go we're gonna put that box up here for you maybe over here oceanic tarot all right so as you know i am a medium and when i as you see beautiful beautiful cards in front of me i'm going to be letting spirit pick the cards today of course like i always do and then we are going to be interpreting what spirit's message is for you today do not worry if you're watching this later on because that means that this message was meant for you right at the time that you're viewing it that's how spirit works. Spirit likes to take you and bring you on this journey. And usually they'll tell you like when to watch, even down to the hour, what to think about. We're gonna use this one. That is hope. That is the star. I love this little tarot. It's very cute. It's very good for beginners too, because as you know, it has these lovely little keywords. And we're going to be using that as our next card. It is the four of pentacles. You'll also notice that I always read right side up. That is my way of reading. The spirit will tell me if it needs to be reversed. And quite honestly, I don't like reading upside down. And the last one is the Eight of Swords, which is restriction. So lovely cards to look at. I hope you're seeing those well enough. You can kind of see I've got a little bit of view in the background today um we're filming here at the marriott in orlando florida so over here back to our reading let me adjust the camera so you can see again and let's get started first of all when we're talking about the star and hope let's put that out in the front front and center for you guys to see um We'll talk about these other two cards in just a second. But when we're talking about hope and how that affects you, it's really more about the creativity, the dreams, your intuition. I can pick this up with my nails. Da -da 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 -da. So the lighting's not the best on this side, but so you can see it's about your um, the spiritual path and you may have worked through some heartache or conflict but the more you place trust in the universe to protect you the more your star will guide you so as you see this beautiful mermaid card she is reaching towards that star that's coming through the water to her and that gives her hope just like the little mermaid just like ariel looking for something a little bit new Next, we're going to the Four of Pentacles. Security. Now, most tarot will tell you that, that um, those coins mean a lot to do with money. It could be, it could be your money. It could be something that you're manifesting in the physical world. Maybe it's that you're building a house. Maybe that is your um, garden is taking shape now that we're coming into the spring but we're talking about these four and the four means stability. It could be the, um, the physical relationship that you have with somebody is coming to a, a, a point where it's holding and it's not uh, dipping too far in the front and dipping too far back. So we wanna keep that in mind as well. So we're having hope and we're having the future of the, the present moment is the security and the stability we're also looking at the Eight of Swords, which is about restriction. Swords, my friends, is mostly about changes. It's about uh, moving forward. It's about taking action. So when you're coming to a point where you see that there is hope, you're, you're, look, the way Spirit sees this is you have hope already. You have that star. You're always reaching for that right now you are looking for this security and the stability 
And then here it says restriction because it's a because as spirit wants you to see it is don't go to a point where you have to go out of your boundaries to get what you're looking for. Spirit is looking for you to see this card as a message of you don't need to go through hell and high water with the shark in the background here to get to what you really need. You can find love and you can find financial security with the, with the amount of, of, what are they saying? Flesh eating sword, sword uh, shark in the background. See, that's the kind of interruptions I get <laughs> from the other side. So what they're saying is just keep looking for the manifestation of something that's going to be your your turtle you want the turtle not the shark so keep looking for that you always have hope for finding your dreams don't ever forget that but if we're going for something we want the stability and we don't want the restriction of having to put ourselves out there on a limb or take something that's not worth us like say if you're in a physical relationship you want to not go don't go to the point where you have to make sure that they're happy all the time and you just take the small piece. Like, yeah, they can go out with five different people and you have to just take whatever they hand you. Forget that, folks. This is tall. This is like the, I'm telling you, do not let people take advantage of you. Look for that high-end, beautiful love from somebody that loves you for who you are physically, emotionally, mentally, and forever and always know that you have hope of finding that person because if we get into the coloring outside the box too often, you're gonna find some really deep and dangerous waters, okay? So that is our reading for today. Thank you all for being here with me in beautiful Orlando, Florida, uh, enjoying the sounds of the waterfall from the Marriott and I'm hoping that everyone can like, subscribe, and comment to Willoughby, who is still in Pennsylvania. Uh, check out our short on the channel of Willoughby in the Snowstorm in Pennsylvania if you haven't seen it yet. Love you all, and we'll see you later next time. Bye for now. Come on over here. Join us on, on all our adventures here. with the Sheepdog and the Medium.